Hello folks and welcome to the Weekly Show, episode 50! <laughs> nice, thanks audience. I don't need the help. Uh, uh, ow, man, Jesus. What's wrong with you? Seriously? Is this where you a robot? Come on, man. Oh no, I'm amazing. No, I'm, I'm oh, you know what? Clyde. You know what I'm gonna do though. This, this is the beauty of it. Wait for it. Look, watch. Bye, Clyde. Bye. <sighs> right. <clears throat> this week, uh, this week we're gonna do everything a little bit differently. We are gonna do the game section first because it is E3 weekend. Yay! Yay! E3. Woo! Yeah. Awesome gamers. Yeah. Which way is it done? Which, which way is it all? That, that, that. Oh. There's a window over there. No, 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 no
that's been part of was a movie before it was a game you put your comments below I honestly can't think of any so sucks to be me right now okay Borderlands 3 well Borderlands guys we know the format we know the formula crazy shoot 'em up mentalness what can what can go wrong with Borderlands 3 Borderlands 3 Borderlands 3? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Borderlands 3? Yeah. There we go. Fucking hell, you guys. Dead Rising 4. Do we need another zombie game? Do we need another Dead Rising? Uh, don't know. Number 2 was cool. Number 3... Mm, not really feeling it that much. It was alright. It wasn't bad, but it was kind of like... Number 1's the best one. Number 1 is the best one. I will agree with that. Thank you, uh, Clyde. I will agree with... Uh, the fact that Dead Rising 1 is the best one. Number 2, again, it was alright. Number 3, eh, number 4. Unless they completely rehash everything, completely change the way the game works and operates, I can't really see this being or being a success or really taking off. I could be mistaken. We won't know till the weekend, so... Frank West, Frank West is back. The Frank first, West. The photographer the, from the first one. Oh, right, okay. That's pretty cool. They made a movie about it as well, didn't they, Dead oh, Rising? don't talk about the movie. The movie Damn. was pretty bad. Ruined my childhood. It ruined your childhood. It ruined everything for me. I think I had to go out and start taking meth. It was that bad. You know one of those movies? You ever seen one of those movies? It makes you take meth. <laughs> Mass Effects. Now, see, this is, this is a, a... Well, the old series is close to my heart, uh, except for the endings of Mass Effect 3, because we all thought those sucked. Nothing to do with that. People keep asking me. I had nothing to do with the Mass Effect 3 endings. That was executive calls and fuck the executives because they ruined the fucking really good story and it sucked. But yeah, Mass Effect to Drum Andromeda, again, totally uh, separate from Shepard and the gang. Although we ha there are rumours that there are the uh, some of the original cast in the game, who they are, no idea. The original or the, the, the screens and video footage we've seen already, it looks very, very graphically impressive more so than the first trilogy. I'm really excited for this. Like, Mass Effect is the one, I hope it's as epic storytelling as the first three or the first trilogy. If it's not, EA yeah, goes suck my dick. Okay, time for two! Yay! Okay, who doesn't like mechs and robots and shooting robots in the face because reasons? Titanfall 2. You guys at home, have you, did you play Titanfall? Did it make you wet? If it did, are you wet for number two? You see what I did there? No. no. Okay. I did. I, I saw what I did there. I saw it was quite runny. Sure. Yeah. It was. It was. Yeah. Good. Runny. <laughs> Ew, runny. Nice, runny. Mm. Yeah, so Titanfall 2. Are you guys at home excited for it? If you're not, let us know. If you are, I don't know. Fucking comment anyway, whatever. Battlefield 1, as in World War 1. Yeah. We saw this before, we've talked about this before. Looks exciting because the fact you get to use actual swords and stab people in the face and trench warfare and riding horses and really crappy old school tanks and planes that you could just throw a match at and they blow up. I'm quite looking forward to this and if we haven't got a box of matches that we can throw at planes and blow them up, I'm going to be very upset. If you are a fan of the, uh, I've said this before, but of the Great Wars and you are a historian, they are supposedly very historically um, accurate and correct and exciting and there's loads of Neville Chamberlain and the gang in there and Neville Chamberlain? Have I got that wrong? It's not Neville Chamberlain. Yeah, Chamberlain. Chamberlain, yeah. Anyway. None of our audience cares about history, Dan. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Unless it's in the game. Unless it's in the game. But it is in the game, so uh, yeah, exciting EA stuff. EA Sports are doing it. EA Sports? EA Sports. It's in the game. It's in the game. It's in the game. <laughs> Christ, stop it, please. PC press conference. I don't know what everybody's telling me about that, though, because I guess, what, what's that in the PC press conference? Does that mean they're, they're that's going to be three hours of how awesome the PC Master Race is and our console game is going to suck it? And how there's no games coming out for the PC. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and how there's no games coming out for the PC. It's because we don't need games, because supposedly Overwatch is just going to keep us <coughs> occupied to the end of time. I thought that was World of Warcraft done. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Blizzard anyway. Fuck you, Blizzard. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get excited for uh, PC gaming and the lack of games we have coming out. But we say that, but there there may not be a load of AAA titles, but there is a lot of indie talent coming up through the ranks. A lot of games are excited about. Stay tuned because we are going to throw a lot of them at you in the next mm, month, couple of weeks, because there are a lot of games being launched. 
just because they don't have the AAA doesn't mean they suck. Just put it out there. Oh, Lego Dimensions. Done, 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 done. Oh, go on, talk about Lego Oh, I can talk about Lego. I've turned... What? What is going off? No, yeah, Dan, we've got to talk about it. Oh, okay. It's 80s. It's, it's 80s. It's 80s. Lego Dimensions, year two. All right, go on. So they've, got, they've, got, they've announced like 16 new packs. Yeah. And it's all new Lego packs, but there's like Night Rider in there. Night Rider, yeah. And there's uh, E.T. E.T. And Gremlins, Gremlins. And the Goonies. And the Goonies. And Sonic the Hedgehog. Goonies never say die. Yeah. I saw what? A That's a bit trailer. fucking random. Why have you got all those 80s and then Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, they've got Beetlejuice in there as well and Harry Potter and... The yeah. A-Team! Have you seen the little B.A. Baracus minifigure? No, but I bet he's cool. I, I pity the Does Lego he pit fool. The fall, yeah. I pity the Lego fool. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm really no excited. Mission Impossible as well. <laughs> what, classic Mission Impossible? No, Ethan Hunt Mission Impossible. No. Uh, Paramount. Yeah. It's Paramount that Paramount. you play it. But no, I, I, lo- I like the look of it, man. And Adventure Time and Powerpuff Girls. And Basically and every fucking genre you can think of is in this poxy fucking game. I like the Lego Listen, games. I love the Lego games, but stop trying to cram so much shit into one title. Who the fuck has got time to go through Sonic the Hedgehog, A-Team, Knight Rider, Mission Impossible, Gremlins, E.T., Teen Titans Go, Adventure Time, Harry Potter, Beetlejuice, Powerpuff Girls, New Ghostbusters, Fantastic Beasts, Lego Batman, <laughs> and the like. Me. If you have, I know you have, Clyde, but you, you get locked in your I'm basement. I'm going to stream Go it, Go back Dan. in your basement. Oh. Go on. Oh, thanks, if you've got time to play all these Lego titles or this Lego game with all these wonderful titles in from our youth from the 80s and 90s the comment below huh? is the exit that way? no it's that oh, fucking that way. way get out Go bye on. guys bye. security knock him out or do something with him if you are a fan of these games or are a fan of Lego Dimensions is that what they're calling it now from last year cool yeah, comment below. There is a, to be honest with you, there is a lot in here. I mean, if you are nostalgic for the 80s and the 90s, this is probably the game for you. And you've got the Lego comedy as well. The writers do quite a good job in that, so. Yeah, Lego Dimensions. And that, my friends, is the end of the movie section! Hey! I got you. I got you. Not the end of the movie Sorry, I got you. section. I got you. No, no, I was thinking they were listening. They've all turned off. And that was the end of the fucking game section! Hey! Thank fuck for that. Okay, guys, welcome to the fucking movie section! Yay, cool, right, that's better, well done, guys. Exciting stuff for you Star Warsy fans out there. Uh, John Boyega, which is one of my favourites of all time now, because he's just amazing, and he's a South London lad, so... Mm. He's going to be in Pacific Rim 2, he's going to be playing the uh, Idris Elba's character's son. Yeah, I did get that right. Uh, not much news about it yet, but it's great that it's happening. It's great that there's motion. I don't know, five months ago, it was completely canned. Like, there wasn't going to be a Pacific Rim 2. So, I'm glad this is happening. I don't know where they're going to go with the story. I think, obviously, it's set in the future because of Idris Elba's character's son. Should we just call him Stacker Pentaghost? I mean, so I'm saying, like, you might not know the name, so just call him Idris Elba. Um, yeah, again... Are you guys excited for Pacific Rim? I love the first film. I like the fact that you had giant robots kicking the shit out of monsters and monsters kicking the shit out of giant robots. It was the ultimate leave your brain at the door action sci-fi. And the fact Ron Perlman was in it. And he didn't die. Oh, spoilers. <gasps> shit. We have, you haven't seen it. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Uh, J.K. Simmons. Now, this is really cool because he's, he's quite an aged fellow. I'm saying aged. He's in his uh, early 60s. He was the very shouty man in the Spider-Man Tobey Maguire movies. Um, you know, all he wanted was pictures of Spider-Man. He was very obsessed with Spider-Man. His character, Jonah Jameson, has an unhealthy obsession with Spider-Man. I reckon he gets these pictures and then goes to touch himself or has an angry wank in the toilet. I could be incorrect on this, though. Not quoting or taking the piss out of Stan Lee's work. Or maybe a little bit. His whole existence is getting pictures of Spider-Man. But anyway, he's going to be playing Commissioner Gordon in the new uh, Justice League movies, which is uh, pretty awesome. I like the fact they've got some stronger actors in this upcoming film that can actually, you know, act. Instead of um, not acting. 
which would be great. Let's, ne let's never do another Batman Superman. You know my feelings on that, though, so I don't have to bring that back up again. It's fucking <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. It was such a piling... It was just a steam of piling... Stop! Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll leave it there. Yeah, Justice League movie. Are you... I, well, after the train wreck that was Batman versus Superman, last thing I'll say about it, are you excited for the Justice League movie? Obviously, we're going to have all the elements in there. Aquaman, Batman, Superman, because he's not dead, obviously. Mm. Um, there's chatter about maybe even Supergirl being in there. I don't know. It's like, are they? I'm worried there's going to be too many characters, and they're going to try and do what the Marvel films did in the space of five years in a year. Nobody's going to really understand the back or the backstories of the characters, especially if you don't read comic books. And it's just going to be like a fucking mess. What do you guys think at home? Comment below. If you disagree with me, please do. Fuck Zack Snyder. Yeah, Don't exactly. Worry. Fuck Zack Snyder in the arse with no fucking lube. <coughs> what a loser. Okay, Game of Thrones. Now this is hot at the moment, hot topic. I'm going to say big fucking spoilers right now, so everybody hold your ears if you've not been watching Game of Thrones in the audience. No, you're going to need more than that. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> My favourite character of all time is back, the fucking Hound. Yay! Yes, he is the of and it's great you'll have to bleep that out sorry um yeah i just love the fact he's back i love the fact i love the way the story is going it is it's not being driven by the books anymore so they can be a little bit more outlandish for the storylines bring people back that were dead and you know yeah we all know what's going on are you excited for the way the the story is going are you excited for the really long freaking episode we're going to have which is going to last 69 minutes 69 dude yeah of uh, killing. Hopefully it's going to be 69 minutes of the hound just with an axe just <laughs> hacking away at people. That would be amazing, then eating chicken. We can only hope. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> first up is uh, Norman Reedus, the, uh, the the zombie killer with the mostest. I was trying to go with something there, but I couldn't really think of anything. Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire, there we go. The zombie killer extraordinaire, Mr. Crossbow, uh, who rides a bike and does very good impressions of an emo redneck. Um, Daryl. Daryl. Yeah, Daryl. Daryl and his brother Merle. Wow. We are really, really looking forward to the fact that he's going to take over, or he wants to take over as Ghost Rider. Now, has anybody, anybody at home, or anybody in the audience, have you seen the train wrecks that is Nicolas Cage as Ghost Rider? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that guy has got the acting range of angry and angry wank. That is Nicolas Cage's angry... That, that is just his range. It's like, oh my God! That's it. It's like, it's cross between Chandler and, from Friends, uh, Matthew Perry, and, uh, I don't know, help me out, Bender from Futurama. I don't know, I don't even know where the fuck to go with that. But he has got a very weird, unique acting style that just nobody should watch anymore. Unless it's The Rock, or Con Air, or... Raising Arizona. Raising Arizona, or, or, or... Or the best comedy of all time. Like Dynamite. No. The Wicker Man. Come on, guys. <laughs> the bitches! You bitches! The bees! Yeah. The bees! The bees! The bees! No, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Oh, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! Ah! I mean, the guy <laughs> runs around a fucking forest in bear slippers punching females. What is it? What's wrong, sister? For 45 minutes. That is a fucking film you need to watch! Shit! Yeah! Okay. So yeah, are you excited for Norman Reedus to be the Ghost Rider? I'd say yes, because anything's better than fucking Nicolas Cage. Because he is just... Oh my god, I watched a film with him in about two months ago, where he's a pilot. And it was two hours and 37 minutes long. Like, what the fuck?! It was fucking shit! There was no blood! It was just him flying a plane, flying with a hostess, badly, and that was it. And there was like end of world shit going on around it, but you know, he didn't give a fuck about that. Just giving about this shit, and going, oh yeah, I'm Nicolas Cage, I'm flirting with this air hostess, and that's it. And it was fucking terrible. You know, like, you, you, mm, I don't even know where to start with it. Anyway, that. It's not the end of the weekly show because I need to do some more announcements. Hold on, I've, I've, I've got I've got bits to do. Welcome to the unboxing section. Right, okay.
Okay, here we go. We are today. We are unboxing some super loot from uh, superloot.co.uk, um, and here we go. Okay, so opening the box. Opening the box. Can't get the box open. Okay, hold on. Can't get the box open. I leave this in. You suck. Do a, do a time lapse of me trying to open it. Okay, so first up we have in the Super Loot box a Space Invaders LED keychain. Woo! Yeah. Woo! You could just wear that on your keychain. Okay, next we have some Adventure Time socks. Woo! Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, then we have a peg. For, I've got a peg. Anybody like peg? Peg? Yeah. Peg? Pickle. Peg? Peg? Anybody like peg? Peg. peg? peg. And we have it's it's a trap. Cap. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And uh, that is going on here. Trucker. Trucker. Yeah. With the uh, the thing. And who doesn't like chubba chubs? Woo! Chubba chubs. Chubba chubs. Zool, okay. it ruined his career. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and some uh, the Whovians out there. Who likes Doctor Who? Woo! Yeah. Some Whovian stuff. We got Exterminate and the <coughs> Cybermen. I can't remember what the Cybermen look like. Deli. But Exterminate. Exterminate! There we go. Exterminate. That's it. Cool. Right. Uh, so, who wants some Doctor Who wristbands? Me! Congrats. And last but not least, we have a nice Back to the Future t-shirt. <laughs> and that is going there. Sorry, mine. No, okay. But yeah, um, Temporal Vehicles Park with that authorization will be clamped. Very nice. nice. That is the content of Super Loop. We will be doing one of these a month. Remember, you can apply for Superloot at uh, www.superloot.co.uk. We will be putting up a separate video for this because it's kind of cool. You can also see them on uh, forward slash Facebook, Superloot. So, um, yeah, you get them in multiple locations. Very, very good value for money. As you said, there's quite a bit of stuff in there for the price. So go check it out. Very, very cool stuff. I'm taking this. Thank you, Superloot. Cheers. <laughs> and there we go. What we're going to do is as well, we're going to throw this one into a little competition because it is a t-shirt. That's um, Yeah, so let's think of a question. Somebody give me a question. An E3 question. What, yeah, that's a very good question. What game did Back to the Future appear in last year? I'll give you a clue. You build it. Answers below, or you can also uh, throw your answers to... Um, uh, what's our other the website? Uh, website. The yeah, on our website www.machinimaspock.com, uh, customer service at machinimaspock.com. So yeah, for your answers there, or you can just message us on our Facebook page, which is machinimaspock, or you can message us on our Twitter, which is also machinimaspock, and our Instagram. You guessed it, machinimaspock. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. This has been the Weekly Show. Thank you very much. I'm now going to leave. No, Clyde, look. Even though you're a robot, I can now turn you off. No, let's turn you off. Let's turn you off. Bye. 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 I don't come with these. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Take two.